Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, today I'm going to talk about uh, communication and network. Learning objective. At the end of the session, you should be able to uh, start from uh, objective number one until eight. Introductions. Today, we live in truly connected society and increase connectivity especially in learning online in this uh, MCO and then uh, connectivity give impact to us where we are using internet connection every day. So we go to our first objective, communications. Computer communication is the process of sharing data, program and information between two or more computers. Communication only arise when there are two parties, sender and receiver. Numerous applications depend on communication system, including email, where we send and receive electronic document, texting, short electronic message. We use uh, via SMS, via uh, handphone eh? and then do video conferencing for low cost alternative to long distance electronic commerce where we buying and selling good electronically as the first learning objective explain connectivity the way Less revolution and communication system. So, what is connectivity? Connectivity use computer network to link people and resources. People is a human, your friends, me, and resources is whatever we request, such as data, information, and also. Uh, Printer, so that one, that one is called resources. Connect your personal computer to other computer and resources on network and internet. So let's see the wireless revolutions. First, single most dramatic change in connectivity in the past decade. And now allow connectivity with anyone from almost anywhere at any time in real time use mobile or wireless device like smartphone and tablet pc the revolution is the support of more than just the wireless telephone today mobile device support email web access and other internet applications we can do chat we can do chatting, we can do uh, video conferencing, we can do meeting, and so on. Many devices can and will connect to one another without any physical connection. We go wireless. This is the example of communication system. Communication system are electronic system that transmit data from one location to another. We see here from sender device to the receiving device. Communication system can be wired or wireless. The example here is using wireless. So from sending device, your PC, the message will be uh, will be decoded 
change from digital into analog and then and this this message will travel in through uh, will travel through communication channel and then go to the receiver side so model will decode here codes and here is decode then decode means transfer from analog into digital message so a uh, receiver device can read whatever you send here okay four basic elements of communication system sending and receiving device so sending and receiving device is a computer or a specialized communication device either computer tablet or handphone connection device interface between sending and receiving device data transmissions specification rule and procedure that coordinate the device and lastly communication channel carry the message so communication channel may be wired or wireless we go to second objective describe physical and wireless communication channel so what is a communication channel communication channel carry the data from one computer to another essential element of every communication system so we need communication channel so there are two category of communication channel physical connection using wire or cable or wireless connections so remember there are two category of communication channel so we go to physical connection physical connection between sending and receiving device include either using twisted pair cable so what is a twisted pair cable two pair of copper wire twisted together example is telephone line and ethernet cable second one is coaxial co cable single solid copper example cable tv the third one fiber optic cable is a tiny glass tube faster and more reliable than coaxial and rapidly twisted pair so this is example of fiber optic cable coaxial cable and twisted pair cable wireless connection we use without wire so wireless connection do not use a solid substance to connect we cannot see the wire use the air itself most use radio wave to communicate so let's see the speed if 802.11 g the maximum speed will arise to 54 megabit per second if 802.11 n maximum speed can go to 600 megabit per second more faster if 802.11 ac can go to 2.6 gigabit per second and if 802.11 ax can up to 10.5 gigabit per second so the most uh, the best the highest can go to 11 ax primarily wireless technology we can go to bluetooth wi-fi microwave wimax WiMAX is the extent of Wi-Fi, cellular, satellite, infrared, and GPS. You can read through the explanation in detail. We go to third objective, differentiate between connection device and services, including dial-up, DSL, 
cable, satellite, and cellular. Connection device. Device need to convert digital signal to analog. Computer only use digital signal. During transmission, we use analog. So modem is modulator or at the another time can, act, can react as the demodulator. So modulation is the process of convert from digital to analog. Means this is at the sender side. Demodulation is the process of converting from analog to digital. Means this is stay at the receiver side. So modem can act as, as modulator or demodulator. Depend on you are receiver or you are sender. Then we go to transfer rate which means speed in which modem transfer data. Higher rate means the transfer data will be bigger. Usually measure in megabit per second, Mbps. Type of modem, there are uh, several types. One is digital subscriber line, DSL. So DSL or ADSL. Normally we use DSL, use standard phone line to create a high speed connect, high speed telephone line. So this is DSL. A, D, A, S, D, L is a symmetric digital subscriber line. One of the most widely used type of DSL. Okay, we go to cable. Co cable use coaxial cable. Wireless also known as WWAN. Signal. So there are two types of signal. This is analog sign. Telephone signal continuous electronic wave. I'm talking using analog sign so the wave is like this digital computer signal present or absent of an electronic pass on and off so this is a digital uh, digital signal transfer rate transfer rate is the speed in which modem transmit data modem can transmit data mbps million bit per second. This is considered 10 power of 6. Gigabit per second, 10 power of 12. Three, uh, TBPS is a trillion bit per second, 10 power of 18. List line. This one for cooperation. T1 combined to form T3 and DS3. So this one do not require conventional modem and provide very high capacity and is expensive. So this one for corporate, not for individual. But have been replaced by OC line. OC is the optical carrier line which is more faster. Higher capacity, not affordable for individual. So, this line normally for company to use because they need to pay rental yearly. Connection services, individual. So, this is for home user. Dial up. Dial up is original service used existing telephone and telephone modem to connect to the internet has been replaced by higher speed connection services including DSL, cable, satellite and cellular service. Means that uh, people now go for wireless. Digital subscriber line DSL use existing telephone line to provide high speed connection use DSL modem. 
ADSL is most widely used type of DSL replace dial up services. So uh, if I can uh, go to previous. Means that A asymmetric detail subscriber line, one of the most widely used type of DSL. Means that this is the normal use nowadays to the user. So please, uh, please change your understanding. So DSL use existing telephone line to provide high speed connection use 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 DSL modem. A DSL means as as what what we call that asymmetry. Hmm. Asymmetric yes asymmetric digital subscriber line. A symmetric digital subscriber line, most widely used type of DSL replace dial up service means that with ADSL, no, no need to dial up. Uh, we'll connect directly. Cable use existing TV cable faster than DSL. Satellite connection service, two way satellite cap capable of handling both uploading and downloading available almost everywhere but slower than DSL. Means that DSL is more better. Cellular service, option for mobile device and laptop using 3G and 4G cellular network connectivity. Five, fiber optic service. New technology used by Google and Verizon. So, consider still new to us. So, now we go to fourth learning objective. Describe data transmission factors including bandwidth and protocol. What is bandwidth? What is protocol? Bandwidth is how much information can move across the communication channel in a given amount of time. If our bandwidth, if our bandwidth bigger, means more data will be transmit at the same time. You can imagine our highway. If our highway have only two lanes, another highway have four lanes, means that four lane highway is more faster than two lane highway. We measure of the width or capacity of the communication channel that is the category of bandwidth. Okay, we go to voice band or low bandwidth, also known as low bandwidth. Standard for line, too slow for many type of transmission, especially high quality video. Typical, typical speed as 56 to 96 kb per kilobit per second. Medium band with special list line to connect mini computer and mainframe as well as to transmit data over long distance for larger computer system not typically used by individual broadband used for high capacity transmission dsl cable satellite connection specialized high speed device effectively transmit high quality video and another communication need Typically 1.5 megabit per second, high speed possible. So almost uh, home user now use broadband for the family usage. Broadband for DSL, cable satellite connection to the internet. Baseband for individual connection for computer in close range. Making IT work for you. Now we go to mobile internet. I can say that 
almost everybody always on connection to access email, website, cloud service and apps via your handphone. Device that can keep you always connected. Protocol. What is a protocol? Protocol are communication rules for exchange data between computer. So we need to follow the protocol. Otherwise, the communication cannot done. There are two types of protocol. HTTPS, abbreviation from Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Make sure there is S. S for secure. If you look the website without S, please don't, uh, don't, don't put the website is category safe, especially if you need to transfer some amount of money. Don't use any website without S. Widely used to protect the transfer of sensitive data. Yeah, sensitive data is considered your money. Number two, TCP, I, TCP slash IP is a transmission control protocol for internet protocol. So for website, for communication via, uh, via internet, okay, in detail. Each computer is identified with unique IP or internet protocol address. So what is the IP? IP can be numbers, but we always use URL because URL using text. Identification, identifying, sending and receiving device. Every computer on the internet has a unique number address called IP address, internet protocol address or key term. Domain name server, this one, convert text-based address to IP address. We dealing with text-based address and then computer only dealing with IP address. But every gadget must have IP address. That's why uh, we change IP address from IPv4 to IPv6. Why? Because with IPv6, we can create more address. So because gadget uh, have a plenty of number, so every gadget must have an address. So with IPv4, cannot support the, all of the address. So I mean, consider the address already finished. So that's why we migrate from IPv4 to IPv6. You can uh, do some further uh, reading about IPv4 versus IPv6. Packetization. Allow message to be broken into small part called packet to uh, so easier to transmit over internet through various interconnected network. So allow message to be reassembled at destination or at the receiver side. Most widely used protocol, yeah. So TCP IP is the most widely protocol. Now we go to learning objective number five. Define network and key network terminology, including network interface card and network operating system. So this is the topology. A communication system that connect two or more computers so they can exchange information and share resources. This is the star network. This is the ring network. This is the... Uh, Client server, this is the server, this is the node, okay? Specialized term in network, node, any device connected to a network. Your handphone is considered one of the node. Your desktop PC is one of the node when it is connected to the internet. 
client a node that requires and use resources from other node client. Server, a node that share resources with other node. So server also is a considered node. Client is a node. Device is a node. Directory server, specialized server that manage that manager resources. Manage manages resources. Directory server. Host computer system that can be accessed over network, router, node that forward or route data package, direct the data package uh, into in the network, switch central node that coordinate the flow of data, network interface card, expansion card that connect a computer to a network. So without an IC, we cannot connect to the internet. Network operating system, control activity of all computer on the network. So all the network must have network operating system. Your PC must have operating system. But if you go to network, so your PC must have network operating system. Network administrator, computer specialist responsible for network operation. So this is the person. Now we go to uh, number six. Describe different type of network including local, home, wireless, personal, metropolitan and wide area network. So local area network. Communication network differ different in geographic geographical size. Local area network, or we call LAN, computer and device link in distance of less than a mile, or in uh, in a building, or using one company less than a mile. Lah, kurang dari satu batu. Link my cable. Benefit are for economy and flexibility uh, with network gateway. LAN can be connected to other LAN or any other type of network. Internet is one standard for connecting network nodes together. So we have home network. LAN are now being common use by individual in home or apartment. Allow different computer to share resources including a common internet connection, can be connected by various means including a wireless LAN. So home network, let's say in one house, we have more than one PC and then you, we do sharing the printer. So we can set as a home network. Wireless LAN, wireless, wireless local area network. All communication pass through the network centrally Located wireless access point or base station. Example, hotspot is a wireless access point that is open to the public. So hotspot means only a small range. If you are away from hotspot means you cannot get the access. Personal area network. Work within a very small area, connect cell phone to headset, PDA to other PDA, keyboard to cell phone. Months, metropolitan area network, uh, the distance up to 100 miles. Network, link, node and resources within the geographical bound of a city. Metropolitan can say in one city. Wide area network, countrywide and worldwide network. Use microwave delay satellite to reach each other. Internet is the widest one. So internet is considered widest one. Widest wide area network. Okay, so this is the short form. LAN, home, or W LAN, PAN MAN, and uh, one. You can read through. Now we go to seven learning objective. Describe network architecture, including topologies and strategies. So we, we have three network topologies by arrange and resources share, by re 
by arrangement, yeah, by setting. So network topology is the physical arrangement of the network. We have bus, ring, we have a ring network, and we have star network. So bus network, ring network, star network. Number two, network strategy. How the information and resources are shared. So this is the example of a ring network. Topology where each device connected directly to a central network switch. So if one PC pass message to PC2, PC2 will pass message to PC3, and let's say this, this uh, do uh, have a breakdown. So PC number one, two, three, four, we did not receive the message. Each device is connected to two other device forming a ring. When a message is sent, it passes through each device until it reaches its destination. Let's say I pass one book. I want to pass that book to the last uh, PC. But this is the direction. So, the book will go to PC number two, number three, number four, and then pass to number five. But if number four do something, hide the book. So, number five did not receive receive the book okay star network topology where each device connected directly to a central network switch so everybody every uh, pc connect direct to switch all communication pass to the switch is connecting device is as pool whether it has a message to send and then each device is in turn allowed to send its message the switch send the message to the intended recipient, most widely used topology uh, today. Yeah? So, if this uh, PC do uh, have failed, so the, the other P PC will uh, work as usual. So, still function if one PC disconnect. So, the rest will do work as usual three network topology where each device connected to central node either direct or through subordinate node okay we'll pass <coughs> in order to go to level three so must pass to level second and then go to the third also called hierarchy the central node is connected to two or more subordinate nodes that in turn are connected to other subordinate nodes. Useful in centralized organization. So we have uh, higher ranking staff, uh, second level, and then the, uh, the, 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 the lower rank. Mesh, that, uh, mesh network. Topology that does not use a specific physical layout but require that each node have more than one connection to other node. If a pass between two nodes is disrupt, data can be wrote around the failure using another pass. Let's say if this one have a malfunction, so this one we can pass here and pass here. Let's say you want to pass to this PC. Here, pass to the second PC, go to third, go to four, and go to fifth. Actually, this one also can go directly to the, this one. Wireless technology are frequently used to build mesh network. So, mesh network is almost uh, frequently used using wireless technology. Network strategies. We have server, we have client, client. Client or server network. Central computer coordinate and supply service to other network on the network. Server provide access. Advantage, handle large Network efficiently, available of powerful network management software to monitor and control network activities. Disadvantage, cost of installation and maintenance. 
commonly used server operating system, Windows Server, Mac OS Server, Lina or Solaris. So can use either one. Peer-to-peer -peer network, all not have equal authority, can act as both client and server. So BitTorrent is a file sharing software, lack of security. So this one example of another network, peer-to-peer. So client server network is considered the best but expensive. Learning objective number eight, explain the organization issue related to internet technology and network security. Organization network, internet technology support effective communication within and between organization. Intranet, provide network within an organization, work like the internet. Uh, UITM, we have intranet. So all the communication we do inside the intranet. Extranet, private network that connect more than one organization work like the internet but provide supplies and other trusted partners with limited access to the organization network. Network security commonly use technology to ensure network for network security uh, to be good. One is firewall. Hardware and software that control access to network Proxy server provide, provide a pass-through access, protect against external threat. So we always on a firewall on our a computer. Make sure you on firewall, not off. Number two, intrusion detection system, IDS. Work with firewall, work with firewall to protect organization network. Analyze all incoming and outgoing traffic. Uh, network traffic. Number three, virtual private network, VPN. Create a secure, secure, provide a secure private network connection between your computer and organization. So this is the intranet, extranet, firewall and proxy server. So proxy server, uh, before, before go to that uh, organization internet must pass through the proxy server. This is a firewall. Firewall. Firewall will protect the rest of PC. This is extra net connection. So, carrier in IT, uh, person can be as a network administrator. So, what is their role? Manage company local area network and wide area network. Maintain networking hardware and software. Diagnosing and repairing problem that arise. Candidate usually have a bachelor or associate degree in computer science, computer technology or information system. They need a practical. They must practice. And no salary is typically between uh, US dollar 47,000 and up to US dollar 64. So how to uh, look into our currency on RM, you can, you can, uh, you can uh, multiply with four. Okay, so look to the future, go to tally presents. Seek to create the illusion that you are actually at a remote location. Early implementation mainly focus on extension of video conferencing. So with our experience now, we already um, understand that we cannot escape on using internet. We cannot escape on doing uh, online learning online learning with distancing, ODL. Okay. Um, that's all for today. I hope you can understand. You can uh, read through on your own 
and then you can uh, uh, hear the explanations but for every this you still need to do further reading to understand okay so by that uh, thank you very much for your patience so that's all for today